Yahweh said to put this up on all prophecies from now on. I warned you a long time ago, Elizabeth, not to name this ministry after a man or a woman, even before there was a ministry. I put it in your spirit, for none of this has been done by your hand. None of this has come forth from your mouth. It is from the mouth of Yahweh that has given birth. It is from the mouth of Yahushua, your Mashiach, that has given birth. It is from the mouth of the Ruach HaKodesh, your Imaya, that has given birth. If it had only been by your hand, it would have failed long ago. It is by the Shakanya glory's wind that blows across this earth, the holy wind of revival. It is not by your breath, or it would have failed. Dearest family of Yeshua, I received this today as I wept yesterday for the young children that were murdered without reason other than the other young children were possessed by evil spirits of murder and mayhem. This 11 year old and 13 year old do not even understand what compelled them to shoot innocent children their own age, those they had played with and laughed with and now murdering them like deer in a forest. But even the deer have a chance to run and hide. Satan himself manifested to these children in a way we cannot comprehend. Yes, pray, but pray that this government that expelled the only protection this world has, his name is Yahushua HaMashiach, and the Holy Bible will be quickly put back in the schools. Once again the Ten Commandments will hang in the public schools. Thou shalt not murder, Sixth Commandment. We say that and then the government tells our children, but you can murder innocent babes as long as no one can see it, as long as the baby is safe in the mother's womb, away from prying eyes. It's legal to murder that helpless innocent baby. It's the mother's choice. How dare you? How dare you? How dare you? You ask me how I could have allowed such a thing. You say where is Yahweh when these murders of these babies occurred? But I have been evicted from your public school system. My name is not mentioned, but only in curse words. Why is my protection wanted? when my presence is not wanted. Why do you consider this any more of a horror than an innocent baby crying in the mother's womb that is tortured in the act of abortion? Is it because only I can hear their silent screams? When on the schoolyard the screams and cries of the babies were heard everywhere, can't you see it is the same thing? The spirit of murder entered into children that played in Satan's territory. Did I not say whatever is in your heart will be manifested? Children are being force fed blood and gore on television through the movies and games they play. Children are being force fed violence death, destruction, homosexuality, porn, hatred and rebellion, just to name a few. They are being taught holiness is not needed for today. You say to me, why did I allow this? It would not have happened if only the children had been taught to cry out in my name. Those that witnessed this mayhem 
will testify when they called out to me. I was there. My angels fought for them and covered them with their wings. These babies all are in heaven. Yes, the ones that were aborted and the ones that died on that school ground. But I allowed this to show what is happening to the public school system as the spirit of Antichrist is shoving anything holy out of school. You are paying a price, America, and all nations that follow her example. This will continue until the senseless abortions stop. I will allow Satan to manifest in your children who have not been taught to call upon me. I will allow Satan to use the music and media to corrupt your children, taking them away from me and away from you, and they will be allowed to declare war on parents, adults, and authority figures. For when you taught them not to respect what is holy and what are my laws, you have opened them up for Satan to fill them with his evil spirits that will confuse and confound America and the school system. Games that started out innocent and fun, that taught children how to get along with one another, now pit one against the other, seeing who can murder one another. Does not my word say, when you sin in your heart, you have sinned against me? Your imagination is not yours, every imagination, Every thought is to be held captive for my inspection. If it sins against your brother, it is sin. The greatest of all the Ten Commandments is love thy neighbor as you love yourself. That also includes thou shalt not murder. Yet in your children they kill and they kill the good as well as the evil in games. Beware like I have asked before out of this handmaiden. What is Satan feeding your children tonight? Through the media, through their peers, through the games or books they read, and through their music. Beware! Satan knows I came into this world as an innocent child, and now he seeks to punish the children, to corrupt their souls, and eventually take them to hell with him. Your babies are getting pregnant and told it's all right. Just get an abortion, they are told. Not one thought for the innocent child that was not taught sexual promiscuity is sin and leads to corruption of the soul. Not one thought of the torture of that innocent baby as it lies in the mother's womb. Though the mother may be just a youngster herself, she sins against me, Almighty God Yahweh, and she sins against her unborn baby that only wanted to be born, as she has it executed. There is no difference between a gun used for murder and a doctor used for murder. It is all murder in my eyes. The mother also sins against her body, soul, and spirit. Her mind will never forget, although I can forgive if she will ask me and turn away from this evil. I prophesy now something so horrible to contemplate, but the murders are going to become more prevalent. The parents will fear their children. The children will control their parents as this rebellion has been allowed to grow. The states will say they own your children. The states will pass laws to keep your children from getting disciplined by the parents. Parental rights have been stripped away little by little till soon you parents will have no rights. Don't let this continue. Satan can't take what you don't give him. 
take back your children in my name. Take your children out of these dens of iniquities. You are educating them at the expense of their souls. Seek me while I can be found easily, and I will show you another way to educate your children, both the things in the spiritual realm and physical realm. I will once again give them back the desire for holiness and for morality. There is a veil of darkness that has descended upon the public school system, and the cloak of darkness has come from the very pits of hell, and it is covering many of the youth of this nation, who are not worshipping me as their Lord and Savior. The children are suffering for the parents' sin, of not teaching them who Yahushua HaMashiach is. I am their only protection. Satan has been welcomed in your schools, and unholiness abounds in them. Stand up, parents. Take your children out of schools that will not allow my holiness to be part of the rearing of your children. Stand up, parents, and tell the government these children you have the right to discipline. I discipline those that I love. They must know the fear of Almighty God Yahweh once again, and the fear of their parents. Godly, respectful fear that builds character and nourishes the soul, knowing there are rules, and if you break the rules, you will pay. The schools are paying now, the government is paying now, the parents are paying now. They seek to pass laws, and it shall come to pass, only if you allow it, that you will be forbidden to spank your children, most of all, the youth of this nation and world is paying now. They need me, and yet so few parents are teaching them that I am the only way, truth and life. Holiness is necessary and is to be stressed in these end times. Fear this law, fight this law, for if you think your children are rebellious now, you have only had a glimpse of this rebellion. The blood is not only on these children's hands that murdered, the blood is on the board of education. The blood is on the parents' hands that did not teach their children holiness. The blood is on the government's hands. The blood is on America, and it is not my son's blood, Yahushua HaMashiach, that now covers this nation, but the innocent blood of the million babies that are murdered daily, 24 hours a day. When you said murdering the babies is legal as long as they are in the mother's wombs and we can't hear their silent screams and the wails that only I can hear. I tell you the screams and wails will come from the children you can hear, children of the heathen, children who you can see, children who are so innocent but are not unlike the babes in the wombs being murdered. One murder is the same, one rebellion is the same, and the spirit of unholiness is the same. I see all, I hear all. Unless this nation repents for the slain children, you will see more slain children. Think not I am a God to be mocked any longer. Your churches preach my love, and yet they won't teach my children. I am also a God of almighty love and almighty wrath. In times of old, I had children stoned in the front of the town square. Rebellious children 
that parents could not control and only led to more rebellion. I had the parents throw the first stone. Now there are laws that protect the children from even getting spanked on a rear quarter I created for such a purpose. Now there are laws that want to set children free with a slap on the wrist after a short time of incarceration. Understand this, I tell you this, those children shall murder again, for that evil spirit is still in them, and the next time it will be even to a greater magnitude, if this evil spirit is not exorcised. Your juvenile homes need Yahushua to chase the demons from these children. They do not even understand it is not them that pulled the triggers or made the plans. They were pawns in a chess game and they only felt the moves. America, repent for the veil of darkness that comes from hell that makes you think what you do in secret will not be exposed. Homosexuality is just another lifestyle you want to teach. But it's the darkness from hell that has kept you from seeing the light of truth. This is an abomination unto me. I sent you aids for a wake-up call and you ignored me and tried to find cures. I am sending a far worse plague than that. Black boiling blood plague. This will come upon all those that force feed your children the spirit of homosexuality on silver spoons. It starts with Ellen DeGeneres and it has gone into the White House. You mock me. You think because I am invisible, I do not hear or see what you have spoken and done. You think the holy sanctity of marriage is to be mocked. You think my Ten Commandments are not of value for this time and age. I am angry and I say unto all those that flaunt your unholiness in my face, you will see I am not a God to be mocked. You shall suffer, your children shall suffer, your country shall suffer, but not those that belong to me. I will protect, shelter, bless and guide all my children who have given their hearts, lives, spirits and souls to the God of creation and God of salvation, you heathens who do abominations in my eyes and put it on the media and even in your songs. You who want everyone to have a choice for abortion, euthanasia and homosexuality. You who take away the rights of the parents to rear their children with a godly fear and respect. You will find I am Yahweh and I am wrath in equal balance to love and you will see what happens when this punishment comes upon you from nowhere but my hand nowhere to flee but to me this new plague has already begun great fatigue great fever your blood will appear to look black no immunity your blood will pour out of your mouths, hemorrhaging, for you mock the holy blood shed for you at Calvary. And now I will mock you back with blood that will show the unholiness in your blood. You will pray to die, but there will not come death easily. Repent now. Stop killing my unborn babes. Stop corrupting the youth and this world with your stench of unholiness. Repent now, America. Watch as those you consider the leaders are leaders no more. Repent now. The blasts from hell 
that curses all that is holy on your media, that the young ones repeat and not even understand how they anger me must stop. I am going to beat you with my rod of wrath until you repent. Those that are mine, and you know who you are. You have a relationship with your Savior, and you love and put me first in all you do. You recognize the counterfeit as Satan mocks me in Garland, Texas. You are not deceived. You know your Yahushua comes again quickly, and when the mocking and counterfeit is taking place, you will not be deceived. You, my beloved treasures, more valuable than words can say, you know what name you rely on to deliver you and your souls. Your children are safe and secure in the palm of my hand, and my other hand shelters them like they were a newborn chick. I will protect those that belong to me, those that desire to belong to me. I wait for you. I do not have any desire to beat you with my rod of affliction. My rod and staff is to comfort you, to protect and guide you. My rod is to protect my children as I pour vengeance upon their enemies and mine. My rod is also used as chastisement as you are to spank your children, so I must spank mine, also at times when needed. My rod of wrath is reserved only for those that are in utter rebellion. Beware, the rod is coming to America. Beware, the rod of wrath is coming to other nations of this world that have the creed they will serve another God. My desire is I want to lead you with my shepherd's rod that protects you and guides you and only beats the enemy away. The wolves that come disguised as good and instead are evil. My beloved children, no religion is not going to save them. Only a loving relationship with Yahushua HaMashiach, Yahweh and the Ruach HaKodesh will save them. Only the truth. There is no salvation except through the name of Yahushua HaMashiach. The blood I shed for you at Calvary and the Holy Word can save you when it is spoken in the name of Yahushua HaMashiach. Only repenting and turning away from sin and striving to lead a life of holiness and obeying me can save you. Knowing you're not perfect, but you daily work to please me and do what you know I want you to do. All others I say unto you, how dare you, how dare you blame me for the evil you have brought upon yourselves and that of your children. You have reaped the darkness from hell and there is no deliverance except through the name of Yahushua HaMashiach of Calvary. I am your only source of light, but how many will call upon me so they can be saved? Once again, I speak forth this warning from my prophetic handmaiden, Pastor Shiri Elijah, not because of who she is, but because of who I am. I, the great almighty God Yahweh, have spoken. Those with ears to hear, listen and learn. Those who are deaf, and blind shall only grow more spiritually blind and deaf.